Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger Moore. Uh, twice now today I've had conversations with people about using self-hypnosis and the importance of doing it several times a day, every day, and particularly when it comes to weight loss, of, of doing it for the rest of your life. And, and I've talked before and have certainly written uh, on numerous occasions about that and my, my thinking behind that and the reasons why I feel that's so important. And, and there's other uh, videos on, on YouTube that I've done that, that talk about this, but I thought I'd share with you um, again why I think it's so important that you use self-hypnosis several times a day, every day. And I equate uh, the self-hypnosis to being like an AA meeting or a, a course correction. That, you know, people can take their weight off and get to their goal weight, but the real challenge is keeping it off. And hypnosis has been shown over and over to be very powerful and, and very effective in, in the data and the research on uh, using hypnosis for weight loss. But the problem comes in that we're always receiving suggestions. And in our country, 65% of the U.S. population is overweight. And we all want to belong, and since the norm is to be overweight, well, that's a pretty powerful hypnotic suggestion to be like everybody else. And when everyone else is eating big, huge meals that are filled with lots of calories, lots of fat, lots of sugar, lots of processed foods, well, it gets to be challenging to uh, eat healthy, to eat unprocessed foods, to eat healthy whole grains, to eat uh, vegetables that aren't loaded with butter and sour cream and fat and olive oil and all those things. And, and to stay away from the processed foods. When everybody else is having lattes, it's, it's hard to drink water. And yet, when it comes down to our health, uh, the real issue is which is harder, having the, the, the seat belt extension uh, on the airplane or being at a, a healthy weight. Now, as you know, I used to weigh 110 pounds more than I do now. I did all the diets. I was overweight most of my life. Anytime I dieted, I could take weight off, but I always put as much or more weight back on until I learned hypnosis and self-hypnosis and started using self-hypnosis several times a day, every day. Now, most of the time throughout the day, uh, I'm not giving myself suggestions about loving to exercise and loving peas and carrots. Rarely, actually, is, is my uh, suggestions about food and eating, and rarely is it about exercise. Those things are pretty much down pat. But what it is about is being calm, being relaxed, being present and conscious in my body, being able to navigate throughout the day. Because when, I, when I'm aware of my breath, when I'm aware of my feet in the floor, or if I'm seated in my seat in the chair, then I'm only going to eat when I'm physically hungry. I, uh, I'm gonna, if I'm physically hungry, I'm going to make a healthy choice. I'm going to eat slowly. I'm going to eat consciously. It's when I get wrapped up in, you know, in, the, in the craziness of the world and, and get that kind of out-of-body, uh, woe is me, and an awful trance going, that's when I might reach for something when I'm not hungry and it's going to be an unhealthy choice and I'm going to eat too much of it too fast. So I use the self-hypnosis as a course correction. I've talked before about, you know, when, when uh, you get on an airplane, if I'm flying here out of, out of Seattle and, and going to Denver, uh, between the pilots and the, and the autopilot, that plane is constantly making course corrections to adjust for the various winds. Otherwise, you know, we'd land somewhere in the Pacific Ocean or out in Nebraska or wherever it might be instead of Denver. But throughout the entire flight, that plane is constantly making those course direct or corrections to land in Denver. And that's how I see the self-hypnosis, is it's making those course corrections throughout the day that keep you on track, that, that keep you present and conscious in your body, that keep you calm, that keep you relaxed, that allow you to recognize when you're truly physically hungry, to make a healthy eating choice, to eat slowly, to eat consciously, and to stop eating when your appetite, when your body says enough, no more. You know, it's, it's like when the gas pump shuts off in the car, recognizing that signal and honoring that signal. And here at Hypnosis Health Info, you'll find tools and resources to support you in your journey through life. And if you go to the uh, tab at the top that says self-hypnosis, 
you'll see uh, several drop-down tabs. There's one that's the light switch self-hypnosis technique, and there's written directions there on that. There's audio directions. There's certainly videos on YouTube about that. It's a very simple, very easy, one-minute process of taking yourself into that relaxed state. There's uh, information there on written suggestions as well as videos here on YouTube about using written suggestions. The power minutes and how to use those and how to access those and there's video here on YouTube about power minutes. And then the final tab is the one on, on um, uh, suggestions. There are the suggestions that have been used in previous blog posts. And every day on my blog you get your hypnotic suggestion for the day that would support you in your journey throughout that day. Use the tools use the resources here at Hypnosis Health Info. And if you're uh, particularly interested in, in weight loss, then be sure to check out my book, Becoming Slender for Life, and the audio CDs that go with that. And uh, it's, it's your guide on taking the weight off and keeping it off. If you're here in the Puget Sound area, you can come to my uh, Seattle office or my Bainbridge Island office, and we can work together and, and develop a program that would be tailor-made to your needs. And if you live too far away, then we can still work together and do the no charge, no obligation consultation and uh, develop a plan that would work for you using Skype, using the telephone, using the internet. But again, getting you to your goal weight and most importantly, staying there. And that's really what it's all about. And that's why it's so important to me that you use the self-hypnosis. You know, I can send somebody out the door after a one session stop smoking and have them be smoke free for the rest of their life. But imagine what it would be like if that person was told that they had to have a puff on a cigarette three times a day every day. Those of us who have food issues, we don't have the luxury of never eating again. If it was that simple, but just being totally away from food, then weight loss wouldn't be that big of a deal and it would be actually pretty okay to, to keep the weight off. But my body requires food. And forever I'm going to be dealing with the sights, the sounds, the smells, the taste, the social holiday, and cultural issues of food. And I don't have the luxury of not eating. So it, it takes extra effort. You know, technically food is not an addiction. But my, from my original training in drugs and alcohol, I approach food at, from a, an addiction standpoint and actually consider it the most difficult to addiction, addiction to work with because again, we don't have the luxury of never eating. And that's where the self-hypnosis comes in. It keeps me on track, it keeps me on course. Eating when I'm hungry, making a healthy choice, and stopping eating when my appetite says, okay, Roger, that's enough. So give me a call, 206-903. 1232 or send me an email roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com and let me know how to support you in your journey of success in this life. I'm Roger Moore and this is Hypnosis Health Info.